Welcome to JAS Madras. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create shape files in RGAS Pro. So we are going to create point, line, and polygon shape files. So I have already made uh, videos on how to download and install ArcGIS Pro paid version and an introduction to ArcGIS Pro interface as well as how to add base maps in ArcGIS Pro. Please do check it out. I'll be giving it in the description as well as I'll be putting it in the cards. Now, the first step uh, for uh, creating a shapefile is we need catalog panel. So you can see catalog over here. If you don't find it, so you can see the option view, select view, and you can see our catalog panel. So you can click on our catalog panel. So you can see here the catalog panel has been opened. So if you see in this catalog, we are going to create shape files. So right now we are in projects, navigate to computer and select this PC and navigate to your desired drive. From there, select a folder which you are interested in. So like this, you can click on the drive. So I have chosen this uh, drive. So within this drive, we need to select any folder. So I'm going to select this folder, ArcGIS Pro. Now right click on it and you can see the option new. Come down, you can find shape file. So click on shape file. You can see here, this is how it looks. Now we are going to first create a point shape file. So in the geometry type, I'm going to select point. And in the feature class name, I'm going to put in points. So this is the name which I am giving for the point. Geometry type is point and the name is points. Okay. You can give any names. For example, it can be hospitals, it can be schools, it can be a, a trees, specific trees also, or a telephone exchange, anything. So before that, let us see what is a point. So vector point, that is point uh, shape file. So a single a point uses a single coordinate pair. To define its location so attributes of point describe its features the points are considered to have no dimension even, even through in real world it has dimensions examples of point data are power poles telephone poles and buildings so you can see here these are examples of the uh, vector points so this point can represent an hospital basically the point data has the x and y it doesn't have any dimensions. If you take an hospital, you can use this point to locate, locate the hospital to be having X and Y, but it doesn't have any dimensions. In real world, it will be having some dimensions. For example, it might be having some height, width, then uh, length. So that won't be there in point. Keep that in mind. Now we just move on to the ArcGIS Pro. So we have chosen the geometry type, OID, you just keep it as it is. It doesn't have any M value, no, it doesn't have any Z value. Z values, elevation. The important thing is coordinate system. So you can see, we need to select the coordinate system. While creating shape files, it is better to use the projected coordinate system. Because if you want to calculate the length and area, it uh, requires projected coordinate system. So select on the projected coordinate system, come down, you can find the option UTM and come down, WGS1984. So if you are there in Northern Hemisphere, choose Northern Hemisphere or if you are there in Southern Hemisphere, choose accordingly. So I'm going to choose Northern Hemisphere. I'm just come down to the specific zone which I am interested in. So my zone is falls under UTM zone 44N. So there is a website. You can see here, I'll be giving this uh, link in the description. You can just check it out. So for each uh, in the world, you can see how many zones is being uh, divided, UTM zones. You can choose accordingly. For example, if you are uh, there in uh, India over here, so this region is comes under zone 44. That is uh, the eastern part of India. And the western part of India, you can see it comes under 43, 
42 likewise you can choose your zones accordingly based on your regions so you can see here this region is zone 14 yeah now we just return back to the ArcGIS Pro so after choosing it you can see the option over here add coordinate system so let me add the coordinate system or you can leave it as it is now click ok so we have added the coordinate system for it now hit the button run within few seconds your layer will be created so our layer has been successfully created now you can see the point is given in the content panel as well as if you go to the arc that is a catalog you can find the point you can see the points over here under this folder the points will be created now let us create some more shape file that is line and polygon let me close this once again i am going to select this folder click on new and you can find the option that is shape file select shape file so i am going to give name is as name it as line and the geometry type will be polyline and once again we need to select the coordinate system before that let us have a look at the what is a vector line so you can see the vector line when these points are connected then the point data is converted into vector line data but it should be not enclosed it uses a ordered set of coordinates the line features have multiple lines and points the attributes may attach in every line not on vertices so what and all can be represented in line so these are the examples topographic lines power lines object outlines rivers streams road networks likewise so you can see here the example so the lines is uh, opened circuit and you can see when these points are being connected it is called as vector line or polyline now after selecting the uh, geometry type same thing we are going to select a coordinate system the same coordinate system which we have chosen that won't be changed so I am going to once again select 44 click on ok once again hit the button run so we have created the line features as you can see here as well as you can just check, check it back in the or catalog there also you can find the line shape file you can see the line shape file now finally we are going to create the polygon you can use this so i am going to name it as polygon you can name uh, you can name it uh, uniquely for example if you are uh, creating uh, lakes you can give uh, lakes you can change it accordingly so the geometry type will be polygon so we have already given the coordinate system you can also copy it if you need it now hit the button run as you can see here we have successfully created the polygon shape file so let us see what is polygon is what polygon is polygon that is a vector polygon data when lines are connected into enclosed shape then this type of data determined as polygon data as you can see here when the points are connected it will form line 
when the line is enclosed you can see enclosed then it is called as polygon in the above you can see the vector line this is not enclosed this is an open circuit when it is closed that is called as polygon so polygon can be used to uh, used for digitizing forest area or uh, particular uh, buildings uh, lakes rivers and uh, many more so i hope that uh, you have a uh, learn how to create point line and polygon in rgs pro in the next video we'll be uh, digitizing point line and polygon thanks for watching please uh, give on your give on your feedbacks valuable feedbacks thank you everyone goodbye